Without a plan, revision can be stressful and lead to poor exam results. In this podcast, I guide students through one part of such a plan, study resources. First, we cover the theory for each topic, and then I suggest questions to practice acquired skills. Join me in making your exam experience a success story. Now let's go through some theory about angles in polygons. The sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. This can be used to find the sum of the angles in any polygon. Breaking down any polygon into triangles and multiplying the number of triangles by 180 degrees results in the sum of the angles in the polygon. Now let's mention a question that could be asked in this topic. Find the size of each angle of a regular pentagon. There's a link in the show notes of this episode in case you want to double check the answer for this question. Do you know anyone who could benefit from listening to this episode? Share it with them. That's how we can support more students in preparing for their exams. Also, if you like listening to this podcast, it would be awesome if you left a 5-star rating or a review. The next topic we're going to revise is angles in circles. A tangent to a circle is a line that only touches the circumference of the circle once. A chord is a line from one point on a circle's circumference to another. An arc is a part of the circumference of a circle. A sector is the area enclosed by two radii of a circle and its circumference. A segment is a part of a circle enclosed by a chord and the circumference of that circle. Some standard circle theorems can be used to calculate angles in a circle. Firstly, when a quadrilateral is drawn inside a circle, that is, a cyclic quadrilateral, the sum of the opposite angles of the quadrilateral is equal to 180 degrees. When the radii to the center of a circle are drawn from the two endpoints of two equal chords, they make equal angles at the center of the circle. A line passing through the center of a circle that is perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord, that is, it cuts it in half. The angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc is twice the size of the angle subtended at the circumference. This can be used to show that the angle subtended at the circumference by a semicircle is 90 degrees, since the angle at the center is 180 degrees. Angles that lie in the same segment that is drawn from the same two points of a chord are equal to each other. There are also standard circle theorems concerning tangents. A tangent at a point is perpendicular to the radius at that point. Two tangents going through the same point outside the circle are equal in length. The question that relates to this theory is, explain why the angle subtended at the circumference by a semicircle is 90 degrees. If you want to see the answer and the solution for this question, use the link in the show notes of this episode. Now that we have covered the theory, it is time to practice solving related problems. So head to studysquare.co.uk forward slash resources and try answering questions on this topic. I hope you have a great week ahead and until next time.